Hi friends, it's Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and I want to show you a sweet basket-related craft uh, that you can do for Christmas. And we are making these little drink stone coasters for pennies in comparison to what you can buy them for at the store. And you can customize and personalize these for any occasion or for anyone on your Christmas gift list. What you need are these little four inch stone coasters. I got these at Lowe's Home Improvement Store, 28 cents each. That's it, 28 cents. You need some rubber stamps of your choice. And I've used uh, the rubber mounted ones as well as the acrylic ones and everything works it works great you need stays on ink stays on ink is like a sharpie marker it's permanent it's it's water resistant it's the perfect ink uh, in, and it's located in the rubber stamping department of the craft store so stays on ink is the brand that you want to use for this project You'll need just a little bit of felt, some glue, and your scissors. That's it. Simple, simple. All right, we're going to open up our stays on, ink up our rubber stamp, just line up our stamp where we want it to go, press down. How cool is that? Now stays on dries very quickly, kind of like your Sharpie marker, so you want to keep it covered up. Then take your scissors, cut a little bit of the felt to make some felt pads for the back of the coaster or the back of the tile because the tile's rough and you don't want it to damage any surface that it's on. Okay. Grab our glue. Just four little dots of glue in each one in each corner. Stick our little felt tabs on. You're done. It's good to go. Completed. What a quick and easy gift. And frugal, too. You can make hundreds of these for teachers, uh, for scout leaders, anyone in your life. Emily made this one. We have a new mommy down the street. And so Emily did this one with the baby's name. I made this one for myself. And I did, I did this one for myself as well. I thought those were, would be cute up in the craft room. And I did this one. So really, even though it's a stone coaster, it got some very good detail from the rubber stamps there. So for your basket weaving friends, you know, you, could, you can group these all, all together, do three or four. Group them together, tie them up in a pretty ribbon, and your Christmas present is done. Or better yet, weave a basket and put these in a sweet little basket to give as a gift. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try. Let me know when you try it. I'd love to come and see it if you'd post a picture. Be sure to visit my blog at www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com for more fun ideas. Bye.